that this is the thing that I thought was really strange and they never explained it which was even makes it even eerier they said three of the times that I come I would have to wear welcome back to my youtube channel sorry i'm kind of like hiding under a hat today um i decided yesterday that i would trim my own hair yeah i fully regret that because it did not go to plan <laughs> you know you just trim that little bit too much off you know them ones so that happened yesterday but yeah welcome back to my channel as you can see by my video today i'm going to be talking about um sorry it's really bright here um my very brief experience with the freemasonry groups now obviously this is something i've researched for a very long time it's something of course i still believe in because i know for a fact it's true um it's also obviously highly related to luciferian type stuff and there's lots of different groups out there obviously as we know there's many um it's not just the freemasons there's like a hierarchy of groups but i'm just going to be talking about the freemasons today and explaining like i said i my story is not like the most exciting story ever because I didn't I do not have experience of properly being in something thank the Lord um, so yeah it's not like anything crazy but just to give people a little bit of an insight and obviously this definitely does prove that a lot of this stuff is true um, so when I was into like new age and all that kind of stuff obviously I was still against these Freemasonry groups but I was an absolute idiot don't know what possessed me to think this idea because it honestly was one of the most stupidest ideas that I could have ever thought of but I am naturally a quite curious person but we all know sometimes that curiosity kills the cat so it's not always a good thing but I am naturally like quite a curious person um and anyway I had this idea stupidest idea that I would just kind of make some contact just to see what kind of happened to kind of tell the story or to somehow infiltrate it a little bit which is the most stupidest idea because I don't know who I thought I was like I was going to be able to do that I would just land myself in hella trouble um so yeah that was the most stupidest idea that I could ever thought of because obviously I'm not going to do that about getting away with it but anyway unless it was God's will which it wasn't it was my will at the time it was my will at the time it was not God's will and it was just really stupid but you know we all do stupid things sometimes so yeah i had this really clever which was not a clever idea of wanting to infiltrate a bit so i could expose it because i just really wanted to prove to people that this was true because you know when you get a lot of people like oh it's rubbish and da 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 da, da like but obviously that's it, it, we shouldn't care whether people think that or not you know that was just a stupid idea and like i said i was just very curious i probably would have just gotten murked off you know them ones was, i just wanted to explain my very brief experience with it but thank the lord that um i never actually did anything with it like i didn't i didn't fully join i didn't you know i didn't do any of that just to put that out there uh, obviously i wouldn't be doing this video if i did so yeah i didn't fully join it was nothing nothing like that at all um but i did have some very brief experience i think i can still put a screenshot of one of the emails in at some point because i've still got one of their emails as well like, i still get emails from them um but i just don't really read them i just kind of delete them but um yeah so basically um obviously we know there's um men and women freemasonry groups um so i made quick because there's a few ways you can go about it you can actively join yourself if you want to if you go through a certain process and you get let in obviously or you can be approached and asked to be joined so if, say for instance like you're in an industry uh and it's happened to a couple of people that are like known people in the UK that have told me they've been approached. Um, and basically they, they can approach you. It'd usually be somebody else that's already like been, um, inducted into that group and then approach you and sort of ask you if you want to join and they make it sound really really good and this is the thing that like, everybody has this perception i think at a very low level it probably is that a lot of these groups are kind of doing charity work and all this kind of stuff which to some degree is true they do do charity work um because i spoke to them about it so it's definitely and i've seen what they've done so it's definitely true they do donations they do charity work that is all true and i think the low level stuff probably there isn't a lot going on there's probably some people at the low level that you know aren't really seeing too much and it's fairly normal but the higher up you go obviously the weirder it gets we know there's 33 degrees but i'm not going to go into the whole this video isn't to go into like the history of freemason and go into all my research about that it's kind of more to tell my experience but yeah basically like you can so you can be approached where someone will be like oh you know join this group i'm part of this group and they can kind of introduce you in or you can try and sign up for yourself if you find your local lodge or whatever it is they will put you in contact with people so yeah scary stuff so basically i made contact with this local group so i basically sent an email 
um, and I got emailed back and they said that they were going to put me in touch with the local branch and the, and the people that deal with that. Um, so I get an email and basically they said that they wanted to arrange an interview with me. Um, these people look like literally like your nan. They look like the people you go into like a little coffee shop with and the little old women that sit near you. Well, they weren't that old, but you know, it literally looks like it's your grandma or your nan or your auntie. Like they, you know, they look like normal, you know friendly people obviously why wouldn't they these people just like perfectly normal people they were actually very nice people again i don't know what their ranks were what exactly they did because i can't remember now but yeah so basically they were like oh we want to have an interview with you so they wanted to do a zoom because bearing in mind this was in um start covid time so it wasn't that long ago um obviously i only gave my life to christ like five six months ago i can't remember the exact date now but yeah so basically um i spoke to them they were like yeah you'd have to do an interview so we set up an interview on zoom one evening um basically it was a bit i don't know i felt a little bit awkward because it was kind of like having a really like awkward phone call with like family members that you never really speak to that's how it felt like but they basically asked me questions about like what i do um and all this kind of stuff and yeah like why i was interested obviously i just made up stuff like oh i'm just really interested in the charity work of the community and all this kind of stuff and you know networking like i just made it up obviously but they were asking me kind of like yeah what i was interested in and then i remember i said to the lady like so what would kind of go on once i joined sort of thing and they're like well we can't really tell you a lot of the details of what goes in and then she kind of joked which i kind of thought wasn't really funny but she said this isn't a secret society it's a society with secrets this is the woman's exact words i think she was the secretary at this freemason lodge and i'm like that's the same thing yeah you literally just twisted it but it's pretty much the same thing so it is definitely a secret society like anyway so there's certain things they said are oh, that we can't really answer your questions they literally wouldn't tell me anything which is fair enough because until i'm signed up and i'm part of them why are they going to do that do you know what i mean and that's how you know there's something weird going on because if not why would they do that do you know what i mean so they basically were like oh we can't really tell you anything and they sort of kind of like not smirked about it but you know so i was like okay and i kind of knew that already but i just wanted to test the waters and see obviously i didn't tell them that i knew about freemasonry groups and i've researched it for years obviously is that a bug Oh no, I think it's just something in my hair. Um, the other day I nearly crashed when the spider jumped out at me when I was driving. Um, but yeah, so basically they were just asking me questions and stuff and I asked them a few questions like what charity work they did. You know, just like the small talk crap that you go through. Um, and yeah, basically it was just kind of like a get to know them kind of session. It was a bit awkward at some points I found like, you know, but yeah, they told me a bit about them and what they do and a bit about their lifestyle and all that kind of stuff. So it weren't really that in depth where they would just would not tell me a lot. Like they were like, no, we can't tell you certain things. And they basically said that I would have to go through like it, like classes, like I would have to be taught. Um, and I'm guessing what they would teach and they didn't tell me, but I'm guessing it's a history of Freemasonry. And it's that secret information that once you're in it, that's why it's such a problem when you leave, depending on how far up you go. Um, and yeah, so basically that's kind of how it started. Um, and then after that they were they included me in all the group emails because i still get emails from it now like the emails are pretty normal you know like what's everyone been up to you know all that kind of stuff so i think it kind of gets it is kind of like a community based thing but obviously the higher up you go the more crazy it gets and i have heard and again obviously i can't say for 100 percent, but i know that sacrificial stuff goes on in freemasonry groups obviously i think we're all quite aware of satanic ritual abuse now but i think that i had heard and again i don't know how true it is that the major big lodge in the middle of london which i've never been to um they do a lot of sacrificial stuff i think under it i was hearing i can't remember but anyway we know that, that for a fact is there's dodgy stuff going on obviously we know people like jay-z or a lodge mason and it's one thing that they did say to me though on the phone call for me to even have the interview is they said to me you have to believe in a higher power that's what they said they said they didn't mind what it was but i had to believe in a higher power and that could have been anything i could have been hindu i could have been buddhist i could have just believed in god at the time i was like yeah i just believe in god i just believe in a higher higher consciousness because i was in new age then so i was like yeah i just believe in like a higher consciousness and you know all that crap that you believe when you're in that new age stuff so yeah i basically basically just portrayed that and they're like yeah that's great like do you know what i mean but i could have still said oh i'm christian they wouldn't have minded in it do you know what i mean but you've got to think once you're part of that lodge mason that is now your master so you are now following satan because that's nothing to do with god i can guarantee you that and that is your new master because you have to pledge to them do you know what i'm saying so that is now your new master satan is now your new master whatever your beliefs are going into that you'll say your master will be satan when you're in it but anyway so 
obviously they were like yeah that's fine so that's when i then got onto the zoom calls if i said no i don't think they even would have done the zoom interview with me so you do have to believe in something to be able to join so i was like all right cool i don't know if it's the same at every lodge but i'm just saying my experience from like the local one well it's fairly local to me not quite but you know so anyway so yeah i had that phone call and then i had a second phone call because some of the other ladies couldn't make it so there was more ladies in the other one and they were saying there was a really long waiting list for the lodge that i was apparently on the waiting list for obviously i'm sure they've taken me off by now because i just never hollered them ever again um but yeah because obviously i realized how stupid i was being and then obviously i gave my life to christ later anyway so there's no way i would ever do that now but um yeah so basically i then ended up having a second call with them and i may forget little bits here and there but this is the bit where i thought it was really strange because they said basically that i'd have to meet like the grand master of the lodge so i'd kind of have to be like vetted by them i don't know if it was like an interview that they said i don't remember how they worded it but it was some type of meeting that i had to go down there and have and they basically were saying that um uh, I'd have to be taken for like, so it sounded like a ritual, but like an induction type thing. And they said, they said that when I turn up for the lodge, I have to wear a long black skirt and a white shirt. That's what they said. And they said it had to be long. And the weirdest thing that they said, and again, none of, bear in mind, none of this was really explained because I'm assuming they can't tell me a lot of this stuff unless I've actually joined and they trust to tell me. And I don't, and I know if you're very high up that I don't think you'll be able to get out of it very easy unless, unless God takes you out of that. They'll probably murder you to be fair. Cause I've, I have heard, and again, I don't know exactly how true this is, that they have slightly different laws where like they can, you off if you leave you know when it's funny i suppose it depends how much you know and how far up you've gone but i don't know how easy it is to get up like i don't know whether like yeah i don't know how easy it is to work your way up um but anyway so they said yeah like three of the this is the thing that i thought was really strange and they never explained it which was even makes it even eerier they said three of the times that i come i would have to wear black stockings but only for three of the times i'd have to wear black stockings i was like what? obviously at the time i didn't say nothing because i know they do weird things anyway so none of that was a surprise to me but i thought to myself that's weird like i think it's some type of ritual thing and they did mention something about being walked around a room so to me it just sounds like an induction ritual that's what it sounded like to me in it and i think everybody's is probably slightly different depending on exactly what lodge they're in or where in the world they are i don't know whether it's all exactly the same i imagine it varies very slightly but that's what they said to me and basically i'd have to sit through classes and the woman spoke a lot about her daughter going through classes at the moment and i think a lot of this freemasonry obviously runs within families and i don't get me wrong like i said i don't think very the early stages on when you enter really anything too big i don't think people are doing a madness at that level but obviously you know the higher up the ranks you go um the more crazier it gets you know and it's just and obviously you know in the freemasonry symbolism it's just one of the satanic groups that is out there amongst of all the others obviously there's lots of different groups there's lots of different families um but obviously women can because i think before there were some areas where women couldn't be but they definitely can now so you can be a freemason if you are a woman obviously i recommend it i'm recommending people avoid this at all costs because i've have heard like when i've had and i'm not going to obviously mention any names but when i've had people speak to me a couple of people that are like known or doing well in their industry or whatever like public type figures in the uk and they've said like they've been approached by these groups and stuff they make it sound like oh it's really good for your family you'll be set up for life it's a weird noise it's not good for your family it's not security for your family it's all about the flesh spiritually you have zero you have literally zero security when you join something like that and it breaks my heart that people go into this thinking they're doing something good their family's going to be set up for life it ain't all about materialistic stuff you know worry about more of your family's afterlife not the one they're in now you know what i mean like that's love man so don't worry about the temporary worry about the attorney but yeah it was mad like i never joined uh, even if i did i'd tell people because uh, like i said uh, all my sins are forgiven I, I gave my life to christ now but it was just me i didn't want to join because i wanted to do something crazy i drink because i wanted to infiltrate but i was just really naive even stupid which is why i never did it because i think deep down i knew i'd never actually go ahead of it because i knew i'd be in trouble in it but it, even that experience was interesting it was still very very interesting i kept up with a couple of zoom calls and then i just stopped but yeah so i never actually joined or anything like that but i had experiences of like being explained the introduction and what goes on and this is how i know for a fact that it's weird because there's no way they'd be telling me these weird things that i had to do and then saying like oh no this is normal what other groups do you join where they ask you to bring stockings three times like come on now like this stuff is not normal so this is why i say to people these groups are real this stuff is real it's not just charity groups than community and networking it's way more than that and it's even worse the higher you go up i spent many 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 years researching i've, I've heard people's accounts that have been in it for like a long time i've heard people's accounts that have been in it for short times yeah i've heard 
different stuff so the stories are very very interesting there was like a policeman that did a story a lot of policemen are in the freemasonry groups especially high up especially in america as well there's a lot of very high powerful like judges and all sorts that was my very brief experience like i said it wasn't terribly exciting but i've always wanted to do a video about that like this stuff is real if anyone ever gets approached i beg you don't join follow god follow christ do what's right because we're in an end times you don't want to risk it right now but yeah it's crazy it is crazy but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that video i need to move my ass and i will see you in my next video